Hello guys, my name is Game and welcome back to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make you die when your player hits a deadly object. And um, that your player will stop moving when it hits a wall on the object. So let's start. Okay, the key thing that you need are these blocks. That is a collision block. And you see that number? That's a block idea, but that's not a group idea, that's a block idea. That's very different. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take that block um, and place it on your player. Um, boom, boom, there too. That player is group 1 and 2. 1 and 2. Oops. And now you'll just place that block over your player. Okay? So that's block one. Okay, now we need another block. Let's just choose this one. Random. That's one. That's a moving object. Okay? So we can move. And what we're going to do is when we hit that block, that this player is going to stop moving. It's not going to stop moving, but it's going to hit the wall and it won't go through the block. Like so. Okay? That's not going to happen. And how we're going to do that? I'll show you. Just wait a second, okay? Now we need another one of these blocks. Make sure that it's group 1. So that it moves with the block. <coughs> this one got a new block idea. I don't know what dynamic block stands for to be honest. Uh, I don't know the difference but um, just activate it. It will. It will work. Okay. Um, okay now we need a collision um, trigger. Um, where is it? Where is it? There is it, okay. There it is. Now, edit this. Um, block A is our player. That's block ID 1. And the other one is block 2. Now, target ID is the um, group that we're going to activate. So, the collision trigger is works like a toggle or a spawn. Okay? So, we're going to activate that group. Okay, now we need a stop trigger that is going to stop the movement, and we need a and we need a toggle and a spawn. That's a lot of things. Okay, so we need a new idea. That's 19. Okay, 19. Could have just typed it in, but who cares? 19. Okay, that's 19. And stop is uh, the stop trigger is going to stop 20. Okay, now we select these move triggers and do 20. Give them all the group 20, and the stop trigger will stop the group 20. Okay, makes sense. Multi trigger, don't forget that. Okay, so. When block A collapses with block B, this trigger is going to um, activate the stop trigger and that stop trigger is going to stop us from moving, okay? Simple. Next thing we need is... Um, we need to select the bottom part of all the triggers. Two, three, four and five. Same thing, this time 21, because we need a new one. Oh, that's already getting complicated, it's kind of, okay. So if block A collapses with block B, um, this trigger is going to activate toggle, 
So we need that to be 19. It's Bond Trigger, Multi of course again. And that's going to deactivate 21, which is all of these Bond Triggers, okay? 21. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Same with that Spawn Trigger. Activated by Collision 19, which happens when Block A collapses with Block B. And that's um, with a delay of, let's say, 2, 1, ah, 1, 5, why not? That's also a Spawn and Multi Trigger. And we need a new idea, that's 22. And we need that toggle again, but this time we're going to activate it again. And don't forget to check the group idea, okay? So, block A collapses with block B. Um, the spawns get deactivated. There's another spawn, and that one activates these spawns again, okay? Get it? <coughs> Let's test it. See, it stopped for a second, and now we have one short problem. Um, and I don't know how to fix it. I can't remember how I did it in uh, my last levels. Okay guys, I found something very interesting and very helpful. These moves have to move. Um, time, I think, is irrelevant. But we need back in out because then the block is not going to move like that. The block is going to move like that. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, it's going back and forth a bit. Okay, that's very, very, very important because then the block moves that stops, but moves back a little bit. And that's very important. Now let's see if it works. It does. Okay, so keep that in mind. That is very, very important. I'm very sorry if you have seen last part and you were trying to figure it out. I'm very sorry. I hope that this will help you. I do hope that. Now I did some um, experimentation. But that is irrelevant. Everything stays the same, okay? Now let's continue. Now we have a block that will stop moving as soon as it hurts another block, okay? Now we need um, another block that is going to kill our um, player. Oh, and by the way, you might notice uh, might notice when when you are bu building your own level, but when you have a block in your game that is moving towards your actual player your cube oh wait we have a new group that your player dies there's a little tip for you don't use these object blocks don't use these okay use these 3d lines and build your own block, okay? This way you can make a block that won't kill your player. Okay? Use the 3D lines and everything will be okay. Okay, next thing is something that is supposed to kill your player. Again, you can use, for example, these slopes. Like that, you can see it. And there, you have a spike. You can use uh, many different other ways. But just for um, showing off, I'm going to use this one. Now you need another collision block. But now, make sure that you have another block ID, okay? So that's three. Make sure that you have the same group. Make sure that your hitbox is not um, 
Not too big, but not too small. Okay, so that's block three, and that's block one. So we need another collision. Thank you. So that's block one, our player, and block three, the spike. We need another group. That's 24, okay. And 24 is going to toggle something. So what is that going to be? It's going to be spikes. Now, normally, we would die right away when starting the level. That's why we're going to delete, uh, not delete, but um, you can really use alpha or use black and blending when they're invisible, okay? So that's one and 25. That's a new group, okay? Now we need to toggle off the spikes, 25, and now one, our player, it's the spike, 3, that toggles 24, and 24 activates 25, which are our spikes that we just placed, okay? Let's test it. Oh. That did not uh, work at all because our block is moving. Okay, so we can hit that wall. And still move in all directions, okay. Now move down and hit the spike, boom, we die. Why? Because collision block one uh, made a collision with block three. And that activated um, 25 and 25 is a spike. Okay, you got it? Yeah, and that's basically it. All done with these um, collision blocks. I hope this was helpful. If it was, leave a like. Um, if you want to know more about this, um, leave a comment. And if you want to see more, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. I hope I could help you. Bye.